Hello everybody, today in front of me I have the Nokia G21 smartphone and let me show the best display settings to change on this device. So first of all, let's go ahead and open up the settings and go to the display category. And the first setting that we would like that you try changing is called the night light and as you will see once enabled, it warms up everything, warms up all the colors by filtering out the excess amounts of the blue light. So if you are experiencing the high uh, eye fatigue or the ambient lighting is not sufficient enough, we highly recommend that you go ahead and enable this mode. Here you can, for example, regulate the intensity of it. So basically just go from it being like colder or as warm as uh, it allows you to and set some schedule for it to be automatically turned on or turned off respectively. I'll turn it off as for right now. The next setting is called the white balance and it allows you to adjust, uh, as you could guess from the title, uh, it allows you to adjust the color, uh, the white balance, therefore the color temperature. So very simple setting and you also have this little picture preview in order for you to see uh, like how the colors and how the interface will look like once you change the intensity of this effect or should I say once you go uh, from cold to warm or vice versa. I'll just reset it this for now. The next setting that I would highly recommend that you try changing is called screen refresh rate and here we have two values. We can either go with the standard value of all the screen refresh rate always being a 60 hertz. With that uh, chosen, you'll get the longer and better uh, battery life. And if you'll go for the second value that is adaptive, um, you'll get the 90 hertz of a screen refresh rate in some certain automatic scenarios, therefore the better animation and motion smoothness. As you can see, there are like two preview videos or I don't know, animations that show uh, exactly the difference between these two modes. I'll leave it at adaptive because I like to have the as much screen refresh rate as the system allows me to. The next is the wallpaper and obviously as you could guess from the title it allows you to change and manage the wallpapers of your device. So here uh, we can either manage the home screen wallpaper or respectively the lock screen wallpaper as well. Uh, the sources that you can choose from are uh, my photos which is gallery so you can set any custom picture as your wallpaper both uh, for the lock screen and the home screen or separately. That is not a problem as well. There are some undevice wallpapers, which are the standard library of them, and many more standard libraries that, as you can see, divided into some categories uh, according with uh, the characteristics of those wallpapers. So landscapes, earth, uh, cityscapes, and so on and so forth. Next, and the last setting that we would highly recommend that you try changing is the very button uh, lock screen. And here you are able to determine the behavior, appearance and like the logic uh, of the lock screen. So here the first, uh, the first section allows you to choose what notification content will be shown. So either all notifications or no notifications whatsoever. Next we have the opportunity to add some custom text to the lock screen. So I'll read something and as you will see now if I'll call out for the, call out for the lock screen we see this custom text right here. Uh, next we have the all the show time and info. So if we'll turn off the screen, it basically just turns off the always in display feature. The double tap to check phone, if we'll uh, turn it on. As you will see, uh, we can double tap on our screen, screen once it's locked in order for us to, uh, or should I say once the screen is turned off in order for us to be brought to the lock screen. And some other minor things like uh, leave to check the phone. If you leave the phone, it will automatically uh, well wake it up and uh, bring you to the lock screen and wake the screen each time you receive any notification. So that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye.